Oh, now it shows you the world tree. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Wait, what? More ordained. <laughs> oh, it straight up says final chapter. And thus boy met girl. The years 20XX. The beanstalk. First low Heat orbital. Warhead. We've been hit. Sensing Coriolis deviation across orbital ring. Oh. Reading shift to west by northwest, magnitude comma two. Correcting tower balance. Releasing anchor bolt 127 through 214. Oh snap, there's a Zohar. What exactly are they doing? Are they trying to save the world? From an attack? An Aegis! Or rather, the Artifice. Echelon Siren losses now exceed 60%. Director, the Beanstalk cannot hold! The Saviorite Rebels are very close to capturing it! We have no choice. Initialize Aeon. Oh, that's Aeon. Prepare the conduit. Roger. I wonder if we need that, Freddy. <laughs> Because I know that we saw it at Director, the very least. The conduit's authorization has failed. But I don't know if we've ever How come? mentioned that was his name. We're locked out by Professor Klaus. We can't secure access from our side. Oh yeah, Klaus was his name, wasn't it? Klaus and Maynus? No. Trinity processes syncrate at 96%. Maynus was uh, the new name of the lady. Let's begin the experiment. Professor, no! The results have not been confirmed! It's too dangerous! There she is! Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe. We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe! Once, only a god could perform such a miracle. But today, mankind moves one step closer to the divine. Are you serious? Do you even fully understand that thing? What's the alternative? Do you want to just surrender this place to them? The conduit is a gift from some divine entity. It is a gateway. A gateway that will take us to an entirely new world. You're delusional. Divine entity? The conduit is nothing more than a meta-universe manifold. Meta-universe manifold. We humans are fools. Galea. We've ravaged the planet. Yeah, uh, okay. We are on the I don't know if it's the same person then. Even the skies above. But the conduit could transform us into something so much more. <laughs> Galea, this is the birth of a brand new universe. So close! Ah, there it goes. So, if these are the same people, then does that mean that both Xenoblade 1 and Xenoblade 2 were created at the same time? The universes that those two worlds inhabit? She said it was a meta universe. So maybe they're all just like simulations Fools. of one program, right? Indeed. Oh wow. The time has come. So you're the architect, okay. Not as holy this time around. Let me tell you about a special three person attack which only Rex can use. If we got Pyra and Nia engaged to Rex at the same time, 
Max out his affinity with them both and then use a level 4 special. It'll come out as a coordinated 3 person attack that you could... Oh my god, 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 oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's destructive power is also a cut above regular special. So we got Pyra Nit and Nitra, well no, Neon Gage. Be sure to use it to its, full, its fullest extent. Oh my god. I was talking about this at like when uh, Pyra Mitra awakens to their highest form. Oh, there has to be like a name for that for the blue hair that he have. Because this is just a mouthful too. And just kind of confusing to refer to them as just Pyra and Mitra. Whoa, okay. That that came down very fast. Uh, where's the button this thing? Here it is. I feel like I had some more that I wanted to say about this final chapter, but I don't know. My train of thought got interrupted when I tried to pull some blades for Nia. Oh, there's a heart to heart right behind us. Ah, okay. I wonder how much of the game is left itself in this final chapter. It stopped moving. Perhaps we've arrived at the end point. If we go outside, we find out. Good point. Let's have a look. Look up. Oh. The stars, they're close enough to touch. Welcome to space, guys. The other view is quite something, too. Look at the cloud sea all the way down there. So this is the top of the world tree. Ah, oh, that sound. Huh? What is that? It's Elysium. Elysium? This way! Let's check it out! I wonder what the bell truly is. If we're going with the fact that this is another simulated universe. I, I, well, I said fact, but it's more of a theory it's right now. It's been a while, father. Logos. Oh. Is that my real name? What's it mean? Logos. Logic. Right? It has no meaning. All it represents is the ego of those who named you. How many years has it been? I forget. It has been far too long. You know why I'm here, don't you? I know it all. All that you experience is passed on to me here. Then, let's get straight to the point. Huh? No need to rush, my child. I'm fading. I'll be gone soon enough. That's not what Malos wants, though. Is that right? Then I'll take it all. Do as you wish. If you believe that is your role. <laughs> is that choice really mine? Answer me. This is what I came to hear. It is a choice you made together. Together. Good answer. Thanks for creating me. Ah. And here comes the other answer. Me. Redempt Redemptus uh, portal. Okay. Oh, okay. This is glass. Is I like, huh? <laughs> How remarkable. That view down below is the world where we live, isn't it? 
So it would appear. I had no idea it was possible for humans to reach these kind of heights. And this world tree's been around since forever, too. I'm not sure I can keep up with what they're finding out here. <laughs> hey, Prince, look! Over down there! What is it? You see something? Look! Right over there! It's Genbu! That's gotta be Genbu! Seriously? Wow, you're right! That does look like Tantal. What are you talking about? Of course we can't see Tantal from all the way up here. We totally can, though! Come over and take a look! Hmm. Frankly, I'm not interested. I'm sure it's just a cloud or something. Oh, wow, Bridget, okay. Um. I'm sure it's just a cloud or something. I'm sure it's just a cloud or something. I don't see any sign of Tantel anywhere. Not over there, over here! Look right there! It's so small, it's difficult to judge. <laughs> Are you sure you're not imagining it? No imagining going on here! That's Genbu, no doubt about it. Hmm, is it though? Bridget? What is it, Lady Morai? I see it. Well, it's just... I think I may have spotted Morardain down there. Do you think that's really it? <laughs> what? Oh, hey, you found your place too. Where do you mean? Over there, next to that strangely shaped cloud. Huh. I see the one you mean. <laughs> Doesn't that distinctive shape look just like Morardain? I do believe you're right. Those wide planes look just the right shape. And those shapes flying around it must be Titan battleships. I thought as much. Incredible how one can feel the majesty of Morardain from all the way up here. But at the same time, look at how, like, small it is compared to everything else. Quite right, Lady Morag. Hold on, you two. Take a closer look. I'm pretty sure that's the Leftherian Islands. Morai <laughs> Dane doesn't have all that greenery, does it? Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, so close. Top of the world complete. Okay. Huh. Oh, look at these escalators. Ah, oh, but they don't work anymore. Man. The crew was robbed of the convenience of- Oh, 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 okay. I was expecting these to be walls, not- <laughs> Like little, uh, scanners. But yeah, robbed our, our party members of the convenience of modern day technology. Also, level 5 is the max for any skill. Ooh, okay. So is this the room that Claus is in? That the architect is in? This must be the door that I'm off this open to. Huh? It sure is bright. Yeah, it's right through here. I'm sure of it. We've almost reached Elysium. Almost there. A desert? What? What is this place? No. Oh, this is the hill that they met on. Oh, wow. Can this place really be Elysium? It's so desolate. Where's the greenery? The water? Birdsong? There's nothing. Nothing here at all. What a wretched sight. I have not seen anything like this in all my years on Ulrest. Pyra! I don't understand. I don't get it. This... This is not how I... remember. That bell sound must be coming from somewhere. Is someone here? Hmm. Over there. Poppy detect one big thing, kind of like building, over that direction. Sound seem like it come from there. That building, eh? Hmm. Then there's no point hanging around here. 
Yeah. Only one way to find out. Let's go, Rex. All right. It might still be okay. Maybe it's just this bit that's destroyed. There's bound to be something over that way. Location. Uh, hell overlooking Elysium. So, this is Elysium. Uh, no use pondering it now. Let's keep moving. And we slide down, right? Oh no, we just jump off. Oh. Not even like a few steps into Elysium and we're already getting hurt. Come out, come out. I never met a tree I didn't want to climb. Searching database. Treasure acquired. Oh yeah, what's the song for this place going to be? I get the feeling it'll just stay subdued like this. Huh. For the entirety of our time here in Elysium. I imagine that there's not any monsters around here though. This looks like a Walton Tower. Maybe this place used to be covered in trees and flowers like Gormont. Uh, so it's over here, huh? That's not exactly taking us to the church with the bell. Cause it's over that way. Oh. Maybe that's why. This place looks like it was once a city, and quite an old one at that. It's actually a lot like the stuff we saw in Moritha. Way more dusty though. Maybe because it's so dry up here. Huh? Oh my god, a tricycle. Wow! It seems to have been a child's vehicle. Right. So that means... People lived here once. It must have been a grand old city. It stretches further than the eye can see. You could fit the entire population of all rest into this place. And with room to spare. Really? So Allrest is just like a couple million strong in that case? That's the implication that I'm personally getting from Morag saying that. I'm gonna talk to these swings here. Are they even gonna recognize there's a swing? Is this where the people who lived in Elysium would come to play? I don't really get how to use any of these. Uh, I could show you if it wasn't so, so broken down. Just walking through a place like this is honestly sad in its own right. I feel even more so than the land of Morita. Okay, we're here. Is that it? The bells have stopped. Oh. A signal we should enter, perhaps? We probably should. Welcome home, my children. Who's there? There he is. Father? What? You don't mean... The architect is here, but where? I am always here. Come to me. Ah, Lassie. Please look! Over there is Staircase. 
It seems to lead to a lower level. Hmm. Guess we have to. Old temple. <laughs> yeah, then they wouldn't know. They're like, it's not quite a temple. This looks like a pipe organ, but it's not making any sound now. Okay, this is actually going to be a really helpful usage of uh, the auto run because now I can drink water while still moving. <laughs> wait, no, wrong, wrong side. No, wait. Uh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, let me not just stand still and uh, go down slowly, even though I do need to drink water. The building's holding up well inside. Quality of structural materials much better than in city outside. This made of same substance as World Tree itself. Same as the World Tree. Oh. Huh? Hey, where is everyone? Oh Pyra. no. Grumps. Pyra! Mithra! I wonder if everybody else is alone or just Rex disappeared. Or they're all just inside their mind and they're just not moving. A flashback? Uh, uh -huh. What is that? The Ardanian Imperial Army. Their equipment looks ancient, like it's come from the past. What is up with this place? <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Now in Gormat? Yeah. Nia, Dromark, I'm so glad you. Why, Rex? Huh? You told us Elysium was real. My lady and I traveled all this way at your behest. Master Rex, did you intentionally deceive us? I trusted you, you know. I came here because I trusted you! N Nia! Dromark! What are you talking about? How do you explain this? Y you've got it wrong. I told you. I promised Pyra to... Pyra. Oh, right. Pyra. Pyra. Pyra, Pyra, Pyra. Is that it? You've only got eyes for her! Get your head out of your ass! Nia, you're being weird. What is going on? My lady has given up everything for you. I don't know what to make Yet of any of this. Yet still, you realize nothing. Even now, you cannot see. I've been here all along. Why won't you realize? Look! Just look at me, Rex! Am I actually gonna fight her? Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't have a uh, fire with me. I'm going elemental attack. No, they gave me Adrian and Wolfric. Okay. I'm so sorry, Dia. Your health is going down so fast. May not survive another blow. Like I am going to have to twist. My thoughts exactly. Ah. There is no way. There is no raging tiger. Break him. Everything we've Heavy done, hitter. it's all been for nothing. Oh, I can still fight. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Answer me, Rex. Why did you lie to us? 
How could you betray our trust? Uh, ah! Oh, sorry about that. Oh, we're now in Moradine. Are we going to fight Morag? Neil and Dromok. You really are a fool. Oh, no. Ah! Watch Tor be the only one that we don't fight because he's always believed in us. Morag? Bridget? Huh? Moradain? You're so thoughtless. Morag! Here you are, wasting time. And all the while, my countrymen are. Do you have any idea what you've done? No. What, what do you. You just run ahead without a thought for anyone else, and this is the result! <laughs> oh, okay, so not a fight. What is all this? Yeah. Now in the <sighs> land of Morita? Oh. I couldn't save anyone. If only we hadn't come here. I could have saved my people. I could have saved Niall. If only it weren't for you, Rex! But me? I didn't mean to... I hope you're happy now. You dragged us to some empty ruins. I hope that was worth everything we sacrificed. Ugh. Is it eventually going to come to the point where we have to fight Pyra and Mithra? It won't be that easy. Rock, I need your help now more than ever. I had high hopes for you. Her show. The winds blow away. Are you still breathing? How long do you intend to continue this farce of a battle? Blind yeah, I I only have attack and tank blades on me right now. I have no healing. <laughs> Why am I supposed to lose? It's fine. We'll get them yet. Okay, no. We'll no. have our revenge yet. Okay. Uh, so let's see here. Instead of Aegean, let me get out Ursula. I won't let you down. I hope. No. At least. Okay. Get Electra, get Ursula. Is I have Vest, but I don't want to have two of the same elements. It does not matter right now if I have the same elements. your every need, at least for fighting. Okay, and I probably need to start out with Electra, so that way I can actually tank some damage. This part of the game right now, oh my, this is wild, huh? I feel like. This is definitely a trope that's been done multiple times across multiple mediums, but like, there's something that I've played where it feels like this... I've gone through something like this before. I just can't put a, f a name to it at the moment. Let's show the thing or three. Oh, 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 hey! You disappoint me. You're gonna I deal more damage to me than I do to you. <laughs> Why not? Thanks for that. Radiance. Ha. Uh huh. You want to hit me again? I'll save you. Much of a diving swing. I'll save you. Power hammer. Unleash your power. Hit it. No. Heat. Hey. Fighting that way is unwise. Nile, my people, thanks for this that. is all your fault. Why not? Ugh. I'll save Her you. Show. Much obliged. And you call yourself ha. driver of the Aegis. Iron Wall. I right, stop hitting me. I'm See, I'm See I told you to stop hitting me. Please stop this. What's the use in fighting amongst ourselves now? What's the use? For vengeance! What more reason do I need? What? That's right. We must take our vengeance. 
For the thousands of lives you have stolen! I killed! No, no way! I didn't! I'll have your life for an apology, Rex! <laughs> Stop right there! How dare you run! Ooh. And the only reason all of this is working is because Rex is what so is disoriented. This What's wrong with everyone? Pyra, Mithra, Grams! Where are you? Where are you guys? Well, we're now back here at the cliffs. Why Rex Rex run? Tora! Poppy, Zeke and Pandoria. Don't tell me you're wrong. You having fun, chum? Playing the hero like the kid you are, stringing us adults along. Ah. That, that, that's not... Rex Rex is bad friend. No, not you too, Tora. Why Rex Rex become driver when Tora cannot become driver? Tora tries so hard, and for what? It's useless! Master Pawn is right. Rex just have a little luck and become driver of Aegis? Poppy never asked to be born as imitation. Poppy want to be real too. But you are Not real. Fair. I bet it felt real good, didn't it? Getting special treatment from everyone. Getting chosen by the Aegis. Who decided you should have all that power? How about you hand it over to the prince right now? He deserves it. Stop it already. I did nothing wrong to any of you. So you haven't worked that out either. In your hurry to get here, you never stop to consider all the things you left lying in your wake. If this is about killing the driver and Gormont over and over again, I'm sorry. Let's show him a thing or three. Oh. Wait, are they actually like the levels that they are like in game? I didn't look at um uh, more eggs level. For the likes of you, work. She needs a real man. Ow. I'll Does it work? Iron wall. Looks like someone cranked up the voltage. Man, man, man. My thoughts exactly. Didn't work. Actually, you know what? Doing this is is thunder. gonna work wonders man, man, man. in these fights. Man, man, man. Ow. Didn't work. Spinning. Cut out. Shit. No. Thanks, Looks like to doing your power I don't know if I want to switch off of uh, Electra here. Okay. Oh man, oh man, oh man. They're starting to hurt. Uh -uh. Okay, Tora's down. Ow. Ow. Okay, whew, that was close. Enough stop! Uh, Tora, Poppy! No, I never wanted this. Zeke, Pandoria. What are you doing, Rex? Gramps? Or should I not hold my breath? Huh? Oh, huh? Gramps. This place. All the way back here, huh? What is the point? Huh, Gramps? What is the point of us, really? We are born as blades, 
then return to our slumber again and again over countless years until we become titans to wander this world for countless more and at the end of it all we sink into nothingness have you ever thought about it what it means to exist for close to an eternity with no clear purpose or goal that's if only a fraction of your must memories. Must be nice to be human. Living for a limited time, thinking limited thoughts, it must be so much easier. I envy your kind. Just think, Rex, would you? What would you do if you were me? Would you be happy to drift around the ocean with a human on your back? Is that all I am to be? I, I don't know how I'm supposed to answer that. Why are you asking me? You're being strange. Everyone's acting so strange. We're back home, in color this time too. Welcome back. You're late, Rex. Huh? Where did you wander off to? Pyra. Mithra. Come on, let's go ahead and eat. I've cooked up a whole bunch of your favorites. I hope you've got room. Oh, all oh, right. Well, okay. It's like, know? is that a spoon? No, it's a ladle. <laughs> Which kind of bread do you want? Oh, uh, um, maybe this and this. There you go. Th thanks. Hey, do you want some wine? Oops, <laughs> you're too young. Silly me. Mithra, has something happened? What do you mean? It's just, you're a lot nicer than normal. Stop it. I'm always nice to you, aren't I? If, if you say so. Hey, Rex, come on. How can you sit down to eat without washing your hands first? That's a faux pas. Go wash your hands right now. I, um, sorry. This is still not reality. You're acting almost like Mithra today, Pyra. Did you scrub them properly? Yeah. They're clean. Great. Okay then. Let's eat. Thanks for the food. Um... It looks really good. Tastes even better. Of course it does. After all, I made it myself. Maybe I'll try my hand next time. Mithra, no. You know how that always ends. But carbon's good for you. Anyway, I want to do Car something oh, nice for Burt. Rex too. Okay. No cooking. Who's gonna save the world if Rex gets the runs? You're so mean. It was only that one time. Um, it's okay, you two. I don't care who cooks. I'm just happy with... I'm happy with... Rex. 
It's so strange. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. Everyone's all wrong. They all said I... But now you two... Did... Did I go wrong somewhere? I think that's enough. Please, Father. So, wait, that was actually them? <gasps> you guys. Rex! Why are we all here? I thought I was... I merely wished... to examine the shapes of your hearts. That voice! The shape of their hearts. So at some point, they all felt those things? Your... My name is Klaus. The architect of this world. I have watched over you all this time. I have seen your thoughts, your desires, the things you have achieved. So you did that just now? Yes. Those were not your present forms, but alternate possibilities. Your other cells that lie within. That is what I wanted to see. Our other selves? You mean we're all thinking stuff like that, deep down? Was that how we really feel? Then you saw it too. Looks like we were all shown the same kind of stuff. Mm. It creeped me out. What are you trying to prove? Those were the fears you harbor. I don't get it at all. What was your purpose in showing us this? Those were not pleasant visions to behold. My only purpose was to find out how mankind has changed and where it is headed. And were you disappointed? No. As you stand before me right now, that is who you are. That is enough. Architect, sir. I came here because I met Pyra. Is this really Elysium? Are you really? I will show you everything. Memories. Mine. And those of this planet. This world was once the stage of a struggle for survival that dwarfed this current predicament. Mm. The world was an unseemly place, though glimpses of beauty persisted. What should people live for? Who should they live for? They live for themselves, to harbor desires and struggle to realize them. That is the natural state of man. But I did not think that was good enough. I lost hope for mankind. I searched tirelessly for an outside solution. And one day, I found it. The conduit. Okay, the conduit is that big thing in the zone. Why it chose to appear before us, I do not know. However, its existence presented a new possibility. 
possibility. Our world was not the only one. Endless universes coexist ah. side by side. Uh -huh. Yet all completely unaware of one another. The conduit was our link to these foreign worlds. And I opened that forbidden gateway, praying that it would change the world. You have seen the plane called Moritha, have you not? That is what remains of my world. When I opened the conduit, many people and many things disappeared into distant dimensions. All that remained here were the ruins of Moritha. And half Ooh. of my body. Half of your body? Yeah. Body. Half of me <gasps> lives on in some other dimension. Oh. But not for much longer. Because they're about to be what killed. Do you mean? The moment of my other self's demise draws near. <laughs> Father, you. I was a fool. Because of my foolishness. I lost everything. Left here, alone and broken, I longed for oblivion, but even that eluded me. This is my punishment. Retribution from on high, for the sin I have committed. On high? There was only one thing I could do. I had to atone for my sin. I swore to restore this world. The first thing I created was a special particulate substance with the ability to restore deteriorated matter. Okay. You all know it as the Cloud Sea. The Cloud Sea can disassemble matter it comes in contact with and rebuild it in the image of all the things that once made up this world. This way, little by little, oh, I could wow. rebuild the world I had brought to ruin. Through the cloud sea. Next, I began to recreate life. I gathered miniature vessels containing memories of all this planet's former life forms. Those are blades? And I scattered them across the Cloud Sea. These are the core crystals. The crystals bonded with the Cloud Sea's particulate reconstructors and formed the nuclei of new life. Those nuclei developed into minute life forms, the Titans, who would over time grow larger and larger. Finally, the Titans gave birth to complex organisms based on the data in their core crystals. This newly birthed life and that also explains millennia, Are we related to Gonzales? <laughs> oh wow. And that would explain why there are so many familiar so that's how we came to live in this life world. forms, huh? To but previous games. Oh, come on, really? I did not trust this world, born as it had been. What if it were to repeat our mistakes? What if someone like me appeared? To stave off these doubts, I implemented one final measure. The Aegises? And so the blades were born. Oh, okay. <sighs> Ontos, Logos, and Numa. 
The three cores of the Trinity processor formed their cornerstone. However, Ontos triggered a space-time transition event and disappeared forever. They did what? I was left with the other two, Logos and Numa, and trusting them with managing the blades. Malos and Pyra. Those are the names that you now know them under. So, I am Numa. Numa. Pyramidra and Numa. The core crystals at the heart of each blade are tasked with relaying all kinds of information to Logos and Numa about the selection pressures of the outside world and the biological status of their bonded human, but also the experiences and emotions they share. As the data continually accrues, new evolutionary code is sent back to the core crystals. And this code is used to create new, further evolved blades. These blades too become titans in time and create new generations of life forms. Oh, wow. This was the new circle of life I had created. So the Aegises are the catalyst for evolution for the blades. So we're all born from this endless cycle of life to replace the victims of the previous world. That's right. But there were also a handful of survivors. I believe you saw them when you were in Moritha. The unfortunate ones who clung to life. Ah. Oh. You mean those monsters? Were they originally people? Core crystals were first conceived as a replacement for human brain cells. A product of mankind's age-old quest for immortality. And that's what became of them. How awful. But that technology became the starting point for the creation of blades and titans. So, in one sense, their sacrifice was not in vain. Though not all may see it as such. So tell us, in the end, did we develop as you had hoped? What do you think? I couldn't possibly. Well, those phantasms which you all experienced earlier, those are feelings that lurk in all of your hearts. As well as that man, Amalphasus. When a person loses something, they cannot help but seek a reason why. Within themselves, or in others. They seek a concrete answer to the question. Of who they really are, deep inside such a very lonely existence but perhaps that is what it is to be human all this data passed through me and i knew huh. all of you you are not in any way different from us before. Oh. That's why I did not intervene. 500 years ago, when the man finally arrived here, I did nothing when he took away Logos and Numa. I stood and watched as Logos, instantiated into blade form, set out to purge the world. You don't make sense. Didn't you go to all that trouble to rebuild it? Then why would you... It is fate. Fate? 
It is fated to happen. It cannot but happen. My atonement was doomed from the start. That can't be. I had made my peace with it. Once more, I longed for nothing more than to disappear. However, something has now changed. And that is you, Rex. You and Numa. Me? And Pyra and Mithra? You reforged your bond in a way I had not thought possible. And the life you share. Ah. That's the turning point for everything. Moreover, the conduit which fell into a stubborn silence after the world's end has begun stirring once more. It did, huh? Rex. The power you and Numa exercise is the conduit's power. It comes leaking out of some far-flung dimension. And it is a power we can know nothing about. But with its help, the world may be about to change. Power to reshape reality. Oh, it has a lot of sirens. What's all this shaking? It is Logos. Malos. Trying to destroy this world and everything in it. What? Remember, at heart, he is but an information processing unit. Neither good nor evil. He is driven by a certain impulse. The despair that the man named Amalthus felt. I see. So it was right. What I felt back then, I mean. Rex. Rex. What is it you desire? What else? To stop Malos. And if you succeed? I'll punch him in his stupid face, and then... Probably get a drink with him or something. <laughs> That's the sixth rule of the Salvager's Code. First have a punch out, then drink to forget. Once you've forgotten, the friendship's all set. I'm... not old enough to drink yet, though. <laughs> I see. Numa. No, I should call you Pyra and Mithra. What is it? I want to apologize for having burdened you with all this. Don't worry. We're actually grateful. Thanks to you, Father, we got to meet Rex. And everyone else. Those are cherished memories. So it doesn't seem like that we're going to kill God in this GRPG. Father. I have transferred all of Elysium's data and authorizations to you. Make me proud. We will. Rex. Yes. I will disappear soon. When I do, the conduit will likely disappear from this world. You will not be able to use your power forever. I understand. We'll make do somehow. I'm counting on you. It's so weird that Klaus is a good person in Xenoblade 2. Klaus! Hmm. Have you changed your mind about this world? Right now... I think... I am glad I met you all. Got it. Then, our answers match. Thank you 
for giving us all life. Perhaps, perhaps I will be able to face you again. Galea. Mm. Is she out there? Gilea is probably with the other half of Claws, right? Pyra, where's Malos? If he is here, I know where he must have gone. Where is it? Tell us. The greatest of all artifices. The artifice that exists solely to destroy the world. Ion. Ion? So that's what Malos meant. That big old then, thing right there. That's where we'll go. Party formation has changed. Yeah. Architect's room. Can we actually talk to him? We can. What do you say? I will disappear soon. When I do, the conduit will likely disappear from this world. You will not be able to use your power forever. Okay, this is just Pyramithor and Rex. Just a repeat of our conversation that we just had. Yeah, everybody was the level that they were in our party during their fights. Showtime. This way? Yeah. A new locale. I have gained a new memory. Search area entrance. Run, everyone! Are all of those sirens? He's really trying to destroy all of Orest. Let's hurry, guys! Alright, it's just a straight shot from here, right? Oh my, okay. I'm gonna go up these stairs? Where are they gonna take me? Oh, I can't go through. Colossus Hanger. Yeah, Artifice Colossus. Oh, okay. Okay, bring it up. Ah, new music? You have unwavering resolve. Yeah. Oh, we right. shouldn't make things like these. No, I'm fired. Anchor shot. No, 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 Awesome. Yeah. How many more of these things am I supposed to fight before I get to the end here? No! He lost the upper hand! Yeah, I was looking up there. It looks they like that's supposed off too. Fight. They shall get one. 
and up. Okay, bring it on. Might as well go back and open all those uh, doors. Oh hey, a chest. And okay, now we can open this door. Oh. Now is it actually through here or is there still like a little more ways to go? I see an elevator! This might be it? Ooh, there's a heart to heart! Underived. Ion, oh, hangar, entrance. This is where we were going. Okay, let's talk. Malos is a powerful foe. But we can't afford to give up now. Indeed. If we give up hope here, there will be nothing left of all rest. That'd leave all the people we care about dead, and a whole bunch of innocent folk besides. That worst possible outcome! But we're not in this alone. Jin, the Torna guys, and everyone back on all rest are counting on us. We've run into all kinds of trouble on the way, but we've made it this far. This may be the most formidable obstacle yet, but we can surpass it like any other. When friends all together, Nothing impossible! This is it. This is our final battle. <laughs> Let's show him what drivers and blades can do together. Yeah! Alright, that was, that was great. Before the storm complete. Gotta hype up the player before they finish the game, right? Alright, Malos. The darkest night is followed by a dawn. Morning all! <laughs> If you open this door, there will be no turning back. Falling in battle will mean we're starting from the title screen. The game will be saved before the final battle begins. Wow, okay. Malos! Just in time for the final act, boy. I've saved you the best seats in the house. <sighs> <laughs> I sounded just like Akos for a moment there. <laughs> Akos is dead, you bastard. So is Petroka. And Jin. Figured as much. Is that all? What? You want me to weep and deliver a eulogy? What good would that do? They all desired oblivion, and now they've achieved it. Least I can do is send them off with a smile. Malos, is this really what you want? Huh? Is this what you want? Malos? I don't understand the question. You must understand by now that none of this is your own will. <laughs> you have to see all of this came from Amalthus. Even if that's true, so what? And don't give me some weak-ass crap about how I should repent or whatever. Why don't you want to hear the truth? Here's the thing. I don't give a rat's ass what you think, rat! So blades become titans, and titans give life to humans. Honestly, who even gives a damn? They can become whatever they want. But that man, he'd lost everything. Okay, talking about Jin, not about this. He no longer wanted anything. He didn't even want to live anymore. And despite that, his life was the one thing he hadn't lost. Because he couldn't! Jin. The thought of you forgetting me, it's like one heart. Is being ripped in two. Words can be a curse. That curse was what kept him tied down here. A wretched tale, isn't it? This whole world is a wretched place. Do not forget that you two are a part of that world. If it were not for you, for Amalthus, both Jin and Laura's lives may have taken quite different paths. 
Exactly. That's exactly it. You've gotten smarter with age, huh? I'm a wretched being, too. A hideous monster, far beyond saving! So... Let's end this now. Don't you feel anything? Father's sadness, the world he longed for. How could I? That isn't my role in this world. This man, does he mean to? Oh, we're gonna have to fight Aeon. Oh. Come at me, kid! Come! My partner! Give me all you've got. You better show me all of it! The extent of your will! Show me why you're here in this world! Is this battle really gonna end with us killing Nalas? It seems like we're not gonna have a choice. Okay, time to take charge. Oh wait, we can just attack him over here. <laughs> I just thought damage was popping up, and nobody moved. Like, wait a minute. We seem to be doing just fine. Well done. Maybe we're not. Like your attitude. Sword back, anchor shot. Dynamic spark sword. Quicken arts! Uh, why not? Just give yeah, me the order! Everyone's getting psyched! Blanca shot! Ha! Gorilla the chaos! Rock! Ultimate lightning fury! Cyclone smashing! Oh, it's not always here! Go for it! Providing you have coins! Win! Howl! Blaze combo, third stage! Awesome! Uh, funnily enough, this is the level that I pretty much ended the game in, uh, Zinobay 1-2. Oh god. Redemption. Dynamic spark sword. Focus. Wind cutter. Pass the Now is the time. Gotcha. Get the Save us to clear the way. Blade combo. Third stage. Awesome. I'm trying to listen to a song to you. Trying to see if I can't hear any motifs in here. I think there's some more Ardane. What's going on? You pulled back. I'm Stark? Oh! Oh! More Ag! <laughs> I am come. This should be enough for you. War of the Servants. I'm here. Blind spear. I'll play healthy, so get it talking. What do I do? Shiva, we may spare you, providing you have coin. I'll go. Hit it. No, what? Okay, he's coming back. Touch me not. Why not? Ha! Ha! Get back! Blaze! Sword! 
Okay, it's actually really hard to tell what elements on here or not. I think this needs a lighter touch. Alright, let's see this special level four. Okay. Right? Oh, here it is. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. It's very- I wish it was a little bit longer. Okay, what's gonna happen now? Also would've been nice if just for this fight, we got everybody here. You're not burning anyone ah, this long again. Trouble yourself. It's nothing. Can you still not see? Artifice, See what, brat? The world's never gonna change if that's all you got. Myself. If it helps put smiles on people's faces, helps them live their lives together, then that's my role in this world! Jin told me to take care of you. In his place, you know. Jin never wanted to die. He just wanted to connect with you. He did it because you showed him a path. And how many people died because of it? You'd forgive him just like that? Forgiving isn't that easy, but that's just the world we live in. We need to find a way forward within that world. Even you used to think like that. What? I can't stop smiling. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> Today, we use our power. Oh my to god! Oh my god! Please, just wait a little bit. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, time, time is running out. Now. Come so on. Are you on the way back there? No. Ah, all the orbs are gone, aren't they? They are. Oh god, my eyes. Oh no. Wait, hang on. Time out. I can't see. Ah. Okay, I'm good. Uh, Morag, you wanna? Oh yeah, right. 
Um, hmm. Can I just... No, okay, we're already in combat, so I'll try to draw a rock at him. My thoughts exactly. You should step back. Why here? Wow, that hurt. Come on, can I can I make it? Ow. Maybe things will get interesting now. Maybe things will get interesting now. Now I can do some water I gotta wait until this uh nullify heal is over. About time. All right, Max is going to with Nia. I don't see wind, I don't think. We actually might be able to get a full elemental burst. Why did I take my hand off the controller right there? Interesting that this is weak to darkness, even though that's what Malice is inside of it. Okay, it looks like we really have to be like right here, in order to like hit it. We pull, pull back. No? I guess not. Or maybe the edges over here? Yeah, here we go. Oh, Zeke is dead. The enemy's eyes are used to my ears. Awesome. Bridget, the arms, Lady Morag. Alright, ice and water is on. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between them sometimes. Now, this gets out of business. Dragon! Time to withdraw? They shouldn't have been able to save us. Shiva, we need to go. Provide me a point. I just don't know. You're in for some pain. Now Z, we're not doing that again. I think this needs a lighter touch. Okay, can I get to level 4? Level 4? Level 4? Yes! Ooh, that was close. Union sword? Okay. <laughs> I would they make an X2, because of course they do. I should have realized sooner. Alright, let's move over here. Oh no! I'll have everybody else attack that while I work on this. I gotta take this thing out fast. Here we go. Is he back? Uh, he kind of is. Oh no. Forgive me. Very sorry. We are most displeased. Been only for you to be back again, Rex. Cheers, Zeke. Zeke and Aitas, time to Though on the plus side, that meant that Zeke now is able to hit him over there. You do need great service, Rex. Yup. Witch cutter. Hand drop. Let's keep this up. Rush down. Dizzy spot. Be 
Oh, I died. I, I gotta build up uh, a special gauge really fast now. Yes. I don't like what this is gonna do. I'm honestly scared. Oh my god. I'm going back to the timer screen, aren't I? That wasn't scripted? No! <laughs> okay. Uh, if I see Prometheus come up then, I have to start a chain attack and just break all of the orbs that I get on. Now it seems like that, um, what? That if you break a orb with the correct elements, then you get more of a boost to the gauge. So you actually don't need, like, as many orbs as I initially thought you did. So as long as I keep that in mind, then we should be good to go. By the time that we get to that final desperation move, pretty much. I know if I rape. Ah! I actually saw that part of the move. Uh, if you go to the side here, that spawns an enemy though. That's the thing about this. Ooh, we got a core crystal! That doesn't matter right now! Ah! Are you still all the way back there? Alright, here we go. Next part of the fight. Unfortunately, all of our orbs are going to disappear, but we'll just have to work our way back up. Alright, as much as I want to hear Shulk and, like, their voices again, uh, I'll just focus on the fight. Right, come on, guys. Can I, like, push you closer? Wait, no, you're pushing her away! Much appreciated. Well done. Maybe we're not. Okay. Hey, like your pay attention to me. It'll be fine. We can Come on, Morag. This way. Uh, come on. Brutal swing. Ha! All right, he can move closer, well but maybe we're not. Defeated. This should be fine. Oh, Zeke already has level 3 already? She just used a special. Alright, I think that's three so far. Now that's two. Earth and lightning. Alright, I need to push Zeke uh, forward. Hey, Zeke, come on. Come on. Go this way. There we go. <laughs> To clear the way. No one can stop now. Alright, I lost track of like uh, what elements we are working on. Oh god. I don't think ice is on there yet. Is it? No, I only see darkness, wind, lightning, earth. Okay. Oh, there's a version where you start with Nia. Oh my god. I'm gonna go ahead and go into you, Fuma. Into Fuma. Fuma. The P is silent, right? Awesome. 
Bridget, to arms, Whoa, Lady Mother. The servant. Don't get them a move. You chose well. Ha. Will of the Wish. Uh, New enemy work. in the mix. Yes. Target lock. No, let's get my prince. Show. Ha. Rolling smash. This is Hit our it. No. power. Radiant wow. slam. Magnificent. Why not? Yeah. You shall Ow. not prevail. Never you shouldn't make things like these. Yeah. Come on, build yeah. it up. Build it up. So Rock back. Down. Anchor shot. Now would be a good time Rolling to do it. Now. Focusing on target. It's time to put all your might. might. Land. With all your yeah. might. Right, it's not going to happen. Not like this. Might as well start it. The power of the Aegis. Gotcha. Me All right. first. Go for it. Time to break Star everything. It's up to you, Morag. Very well. Heat, hey! Magnificent elemental burst. Zeke, aim true. Yeah. Cold Sabbath. Grave beam. Oh, he's already dead. Let's keep it up. Magnificent. I'm never ready for, for like it. the next round, for some reason. Gotcha. Oh, I love it up. You, As okay. Uh, she can't bring anything else, so just do anything. Magnificent. Elemental burst. Dick, aim true. Yeah. Let me take care of it. Elemental burst. Oh, here we go. And that's the final boss. Whoa, right. Ah. I need to get this bad habit out of my system of letting go of the controller. Yeah. When I think I win. Wait, was that another artifice that just shot out? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, the Aegises! Let's get this done! So we... Can move on for the future. All right, through the core crystal. So what do you think now, Malos? Uh. Ah, there it goes. That means he's been defeated. What's he doing? Ah! Oh. The World Tree and all the Titans? This is the last gift I can offer you. Is he sending us to the world that Shulk and them created? All the artifices are down. It's over. Also, this is totally pre-rendered. Wait, is it? I thought it was because Moradain looked fuzzier than usual. But then we got switched to more to do Araya. It looks fine again.
I've done all that trouble to repair it. It's been fun, kid. Malos. If only I'd met you sooner. <laughs> Just think of the worlds I might have seen. But even so, if if I had been your driver, all of this. <laughs> Kids say the damnedest things. There was only <laughs> one driver for me. All in all, it wasn't so bad. Malos. Looks like he's finally found it. Lady Moray. Elysium? A meaning to his life. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Not yet. Indeed. Frankly, I'm a little jealous. After all, most people go their whole lives without finding theirs. <laughs> I wonder if I'll find mine. You've got one already, haven't you? And if what you've got isn't enough for you, well, you can always leave things to the next generation. <laughs> you've got a point. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. What's going to happen to everything now? All rest as we know it is over now that the architect is dead. I think I'm gonna freak out again if like we hear Shulk saying like I wish for a world without any gods or something along those lines. Oh, we gotta go. flung into space by centrifugal force. However, everything below this point, the world tree itself will fall apart on top of all rest. Ooh, no, that wow. can't. The impact would destroy. There, there has to be a way to stop it. Pyra, please. <sighs> Pyra. There is one way. Just one way to prevent it. Five stories down from here, there's a control room for the correction boosters. If we can fire the booster jets and accelerate the whole world tree beyond escape velocity. Look, I haven't got a clue about boosters or velocities, but I'm gathering that we gotta get there and fast. Okay, five floors down. Let's hurry. I don't like where this is going. Azurda, Hoppy. Hmm? What did you say? Poppy could not possibly. Please. You're the only ones I can ask. But... Poppy. You promised. Didn't you? Oh. Oh. That pillow belt. It really is. Please.
and giving him the energy to become a titan again. Is this escape pods? Ah, oh. ships. Is this a port? <gasps> Pyra, what are you doing there? Where's the control room? Pyra! Isn't she the control room now? You can't mean... I'm sorry. This was the first lie I ever told you. Pyra! The only way to stop the World Tree's collapse is to use the last of Ion's power and annihilate the World Tree. I'm sorry, it is the only way. You all need to use one of those escape vessels and get as far away as possible. But what about what? you? The last of Ions! Pyra! What are you doing? It'll... it'll be fine, right? You'll deal with the World Tree, then come back, right? Wait! Just wait, I'll come with you! Damn it! There's not enough wire! I got it. Poppy? Poppy? It's not okay. Huh? Poppy cannot. No. No. What do you mean you can't? No. Poppy made promise. <laughs> I would say that Rex for sure asked Poppy. <laughs> say not help Rex, no matter what. What kind of promise is that? Please, I'm begging you. All you gotta do is take me over there. The rest of you can just... Rex. Come on. Please. She's right there. Rex. Gramps! Sometimes a man must know when to let go. That's bullshit. Why? Why? Do it for her, Rex. Do as she asks. Gramps! Chum, how long are you planning on being a baby? She's the girl you love. You got to accept her decision. That's what being an adult means. Rex, I am so thankful that I've met all of you.
Rex Rex! What's she doing? The rest of her core crystal? So that they're not linked anymore, so she doesn't die with him. He doesn't die with her. Be fine. Without me now. Fire up. issues after this. Time together was short, a fraction of my long, long years. But it's been warmer and brighter than any time I can remember before. You shone a light on my melancholy path. You showed me the way. So tell me, how was it being alive? Do you really want to know? Well...
Oh, God. There we go. Grunts. Come on. Is that everyone? Okay, here we go. You know, I think this form does suit me best. I told Grunts. you so. We're heading down. Everybody grab onto something. I thought they really gave Rex his junk sword back. You couldn't at least let him use Nia Sword. Cloud C is the Titans are gone. I can't believe it. Now what he is did everyone dead. We were too late. Klaus removed the Cloud Sea. So there's nothing left of the world but ruins. We're crossing that rift. Oh, boundless sea. Well, not boundless. Look! Uriah? Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure those, those land masses? That's the Mechonis and Bionis. Only saw a glimpse, so I'm not entirely sure. Tantel too. Or Genbu, to be more correct. Just crashed into it. <laughs> Wait, which time is this? The Titans. They're joining with the land. Klaus meant by restoring the world. Gramps. So Elysium was here all along. What's that? Please tell me one of them is, py is Pyramithra. That would hurt a lot, but at least it would still be alive, I hope. <laughs> no, I think it's just time to accept that. Yeah. We're finally here. Oh, 
Huh? Oh, roll credits. Oh my god. Oh man. I really played through like two and a little over two chapters today. They were relatively short, but man. Ah. <sighs> This... This was an amazing game. Shulk, VR, Riki? Oh yeah, right there in the, the DLC. Spoilers, but eh. It was okay. <laughs> they have it kind of set up to make it look like that. There's supposed to be some images that you went up on the left side, but nothing's shown up yet. So, huh. But, okay. So that was Xenoblade Chronicles 2. That ending was rough, but we achieved our dream. We didn't exactly take Pyramitra to Elysium like we said we would, but it was because of them that we were able to get there safely. They saved it. I'll just wait until after the credits to talk about what I thought about the game. Here's the theme, the motif of this game. Oh, the cutscene like director and staff, they did an amazing job, especially with the choreography for the fights. Oh, here we go. It starts.
Wait, wait, wait! Rex still has her core crystal! And it's just grayed out, it is not cracked or anything! There's a chance it can come back! Oh my god! <laughs> Just let her have it, Zeke. Remember, will she? No, great, really? they still remember. Final chapter, and thus, Boy Met Girl. Whoa! Oh, okay, I, was, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> uh, the monolith soft. Ah, uh, these guys are really starting to shape up to be a legendary studio, right? Nintendo monoliths are the authors of software and or the purpose of copyright, all right? It's reserved. Well, of course. 2017 Nintendo, Monolith Soft. What? Okay. Save your game. Yes. <gasps> oh, snap! Okay, so they're both just two separate people now. Wow. Okay. What happens if I... Oh, New Game Plus. Okay, that explains it. Wait, so what happens if I hit continue? It just takes me back to the title screen. That would be funny. Okay, this makes sense. Okay, I want to check out what New Game Plus is. So let's see, what carries over? Drivers levels? Equipment and advancement of drivers and blades. Advancements, okay, so like their skills and stuff. Bonded blades. Obtained gold and items. Area the dev levels and merc group rank, that's huge. Event theater and unique monster defeat status, playtime. So additional features in new game bond with certain blades from Torna. <gasps> oh okay, okay certain blades. Okay, so I'm guessing like Abrona, the lizard that uh, Malice was using, like those blades. Uh, meet certain blades from Torna in game world and bond with them. Okay, I'm, I can't imagine they actually mean like. The Flesh Eaters of Torna. All blades can be dispatched on Merc missions, uh, so even Pyramidra. Unlock driver's hidden affinities. Hidden. To the- Oh. 
Oh. Okay. Lower characters' levels when investing in an inn and pocket the experience difference as bonus XP. Oh wow, so that's where they got the mechanic from. They carried it over into Definitive Edition. Wow. Exchange bonus experience for special items. Okay, and that's how you can get uh, bonus uh, over now overdrive protocols. Unlock Zeke's Eye of Shining Justice? Is that a new art? All quests, heart to hearts, and skip travel points will be reset. That makes sense. Completed merc missions will be reset. That sucks, but that makes sense. If a currently dispatched blade is necessary for story progression, they will be removed from the merc group. Is necessary? Okay, okay, I, I see what they mean. So, yeah, if you send them out on a merc group mission, but you need them for the story, like say you need Rock in order to do some miasma dispersal, then he'll just come back. Probably. Any blades engaged with Rex using his Master Driver ability at the game's end will return to their original driver. Okay. Rock, Agent, and the unnamed Core Crystal Blade will be made available again as the story progresses. The unnamed Core Crystal Blade? Oh. A Core Crystal that I have no idea about. Okay. When you save after starting New Game Plus, save there from your first playthrough will be overwritten. Ah. Nah. But okay. So that was Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Oh man, this was an amazing game. Uh, there were some qualms with like, some of the things that they do with the gameplay and the mechanics, of course. Stuff like the fuel skills were... They were... kinda cool? I said this way earlier in the uh, playthrough, but after a while it just becomes more of a chore to just move anywhere in the world because you don't have enough blades to do XYZ and stuff like that. And some of the checks that you need get really insane. So, not a personally big, big fan of that, but overall, it wasn't like detrimental to my experience or anything like that, right? Uh, but uh, I'll start with the characters because they're like right there on the screen and on my mind right now, but oh my god. I, ooh, this feels. This feels controversial to me personally, to myself, to say, but I can't even bring myself to say that I l like these group of characters more than I did the first group of characters with Shulk, Ryan, and all of them. Because, I don't know. Is it because I spent more time with them? No? Is it because this is newer? I'm not sure what it all is, but... You know what? There is one thing that Xenoblade 1 has over Xenoblade 2, and it's that the characters kissed in that one. <laughs> yeah, it was only one scene, but it was still much, much appreciated at the very least. It just says, ugh. Having romantic payoff in any kind of like JRPG or just like more, uh, Eastern video game in general, I believe, that's not verbal, is kind of a rarity. I mean, they are holding hands here, which is... It means a lot, <laughs> honestly, but still. Uh, but yeah, talking about the characters individually, Rex, Pyramithra, and then Numa, like, I really like them. I, I didn't expect to like Rex as much as I did, because I came in with all of the, like, negative perceptions of him because of his voice acting, and you know what? It became unnoticeable. It, like, in which means it became good the more that the game went on. So he just got a unfair rep because apparently he is a new voice actor, at least at the time of him doing this game. And they were pressed for time when they were recording all the lines, so they pretty much just went with the first takes for everybody, if I'm not mistaken. So that really hurt some scenes and make them a little bit more awkward than they should have been. But yeah. And Pyro and Metra, I was expecting to like them from the get-go, so there was nothing there. I just like them way more now. <laughs> Mia was a surprise for me because I I just generally liked her as like as like the sassy uh, party member to contrast Rex and his optimism all the time. But then chapter seven happens. <laughs> uh, even that one scene in chapter nine where she was kind of like being mean to Tora and like everybody like all of a sudden is like that was still weird to me. But still, uh, I don't know. That might have just been 
I don't, I'm not sure. Because, yeah, I'm, just, I'm still trying to think about it, but I can't really come up with a reason in my mind of why she would take that kind of tone with everybody in the first place. Yeah, Tor and Poppy, they were amazing. I loved them, it was like so much. Was, I, from what I remember of playing the game originally, uh, during my first playthrough where I just went through like the first three chapters and parts of chapter, wait, the first two chapters and parts of chapter three, that I did like them, but I just love them like by this point at the end of this game. And like Poppy, had, like ah, oh. if it weren't for her, I wouldn't have cried at the end there. Like, I think I could say that for a fact. Poppy, like, crying for for not being able to help Rex save Pyrimetra is just what drove me over the edge right there. Though, I will say that she could have, at the very least, reminded us that she could be reformed from her core crystal if Rex has it. But, you know what? It's fine. It led to that nice moment at the end there where Nia being the goat that she is, just encouraging Rex to be with the person that she lo that he loves, despite her loving him back. And which unfortunately, that does mean that she got the Melia treatment. <sighs> but yeah, Morag, Bridget, Zeke, and Pandoria, they're really cool characters. I love them a lot too. And it was just amazing to have them around in the party. And like, and again, they leveled out like the optimism and grounded everybody with the fact that they've lived longer and they know so much more about the world too. And just, you know, being more experienced drivers too and helping out when they can and just, oh man. I feel like Zeke didn't get as many like badass moments compared to Morag, but you know what? He he did a lot in Tantel when we first arrived there, so I'll give him that. But Morag kind of steals his shell like from then on, at least from what I can remember. Gramps is fine as a supporting character. He wasn't like too stand out, I would say. He was mainly like just our announcer for battles and our exposition, <laughs> pretty much, that was traveling alongside us. So there wasn't all too much that we got in terms of his personality, now that I think about it, outside of Heart to Hearts anyway. Oh man, if I really want to talk about everything with this game, I'm going to be here for like at least an hour, so I need to at least summarize some of these things. Um, I really like the expanded driver uh, system. So with the uh, break, topple, launch, and smash, which I'm glad it's making a return in Xenoblade Chronicles 3, I really enjoyed the blade combos too. It took a little bit of getting used to, not gonna lie, but once you get it, it just clicks. And then you just really start to want to see how much damage you can do. <laughs> yeah, which I'm just really happy that I managed to end the final fight with a full elemental burst because, I mean, come on! <laughs> Traveling the world of Aris was interesting as well, though I will say that the I think I do enjoy the setting of one better because that's Makanas and Bionis and somehow they managed to fit like all these little biomes, and, but like each world was his own, had his own story to tell, which there was that too here. I like, I won't lie. Seeing more at the, seeing the different ty kind of titans specifically was a treat for sure. But I personally have more of a connection to Bionis and Makonis from the first game because they were technically their own characters that played a central part throughout the entire story, which you can't say as much here in Xenoblade 2, at least in my opinion. And who knows, maybe later down the line my opinion of that will change, but overall, yeah, this is definitely a step up from the first game, somehow. And I don't know if they're gonna do it again, uh, I will lose my mind and become a permanent Monolith Soft fan if they do manage to up themselves in the upcoming months. But yeah, the gacha system though, it's... I'm glad that's not going to return, at the, uh, seemingly, at the very least, because, oh man. I want to play my game, but I don't want to feel like my time is being wasted by the game that I play, you know? Oh, you're right, right. I, it, this deserves a mention to you, but the music! Oh. And again, somehow, they really, like, 
hit it on the head with all the songs that they composed for this game. And I honestly say I probably have stronger memories with this game's music now compared to the first game's music. Though to be fair, I did not let's play the first game, so <laughs> that probably plays a big part in it too. Oh. Through it all though, I would still say that the Torgoth Night theme is still my favorite town theme song in this game. Voradain is like one of the best, but I also feel like the World Tree theme is like really up there too. And all the vocal performances here too, from the choirs and Indol Tantal. And I think one other place too, but I can't exactly recall. But, and then the like uh, performances by, I, I need to find out who's, what the singer's name is, but the songs that play during the ending and like during Vanheim's like sacrifice and all that. It really surprised me that they composed those songs and had them be vocal performances in the first place. But it's definitely a treat, especially hearing them in English too, which is something that, you know, feels like it's unheard of. <laughs> because it either would be like in Latin or something like that, in Japanese and le left untranslated, or something else, you know? Though, all things considered, the, the trend has been moving towards vocal English performances, huh? Starting with Life Light from uh, Smash Ultimate. At least that's the earliest I can remember in terms of like Nintendo properties. Then maybe Super Mario Odyssey, though that in there it made sense. But alright, yeah. This game has definitely cemented itself as like one of my personal favorites for sure. And now I need to buy some figurines of some of the characters in this game. <laughs> Uh, because I feel like that'd only be right, you know? All that's left now is to play the Torna DLC, and then Future Connected, the DLC for Definitive Edition of the first game. And then, that should take us into the release of Xenoblade 3! And oh man, this entire year has just been filled with Xenoblade, hasn't it? I'm not complaining. <laughs> but yeah, if you made it this far into the video, I will say here that I will be streaming like the rest of my content from now on, at least of the uh, new games that I play from now on. I'll still be doing Persona 5 like how I normally do, but after that then my entire content will revolve around me streaming games first and then editing down to, to be more digestible videos for the main channel because I enjoyed like the way that I've been doing things, right? But even I can admit that it's tough to get through. Even for me myself to edit is like, oh my god. Uh, and I, I also like shoot, shot myself in the foot by doing not only the intro, being a custom recap of the previous chapters, but also the outros be like a more somber recap of the current chapter, which it did lead to the creation of chapter 7's outro, which is one of my personal favorites. Now that being said, I haven't made 8, 9, or well, or 8 or 9s yet, so yeah, but I don't think anything is going to top chapter 7s for me. Uh, because it all started from the low point, and then it just, we are lifted back up to where we were. Even higher to where we were before. And I felt like that, that outro really encapsulated that feeling. But yeah, so with the streams, I will be streaming on the second channel called Nothing Beef Live. I've already live streamed some of my reactions to the... Summer Games Fest, where we started with the state of play and then ended with the... What was it? It was the Square Enix event with Final Fantasy VII, right. So you will see my face on there, but I want to try to keep my face hidden, quote unquote, on this main channel because what value is my face going to add to like videos just like where my mind is at right now? But who knows? It is better to be an actual face talking than to be a animate well i can't even say animated but just by profile picture with like some sound waves around it right <laughs> but who knows it might be too complicated to try to like take out my face from like these playthroughs in the first place so i'll try to figure it out i do want to shrink these videos down again back to before i took my break from uh resident evil 2 and persona 5, persona 5 strikers other than that i think that's everything that i wanted to say yeah, I would say so, but I'm honestly surprised that there's like no direct confirmation that we're in the same world as Shulk and the others now. Even though 
the cover art for Xenoblade 3 has the Makata sword piercing Uriah? I wonder what's going on there and how this all connects. But alright, I think I've been talking for long enough. So, all that being said, the name's been nothing brief, but call me nothing. And I'll see you all in Torna 500 years ago. Until then, take care. Bye!